you doing today? Dirty old driving around bills up here, eh? Freaking half day today, boys and girls. New Year's Eve day it is, eh? And I'm gonna get myself a little Wendy's action. Where the hell wouldn't I? I'm not used to the longer wheelbase in this thing, I'm not. I'm used to a little sport track and just turn on a dime, she did. This one, not so muchy. But I did install the old windshield cam today, I did, eh? Took her out of the old work van, put her in my own truck, I did. That way I can catch anybody give me an RV door banger. How you doing today, Wendy? I'm well, thanks. Good. I'll have a number four, please. With a Coke or Pepsi? Yeah, I'm gonna get one of them Junior Bacon Cheeseburgs. Sounds good. Anything else? That's all. Please. Well, don't forget to subscribe and like and hit that notification bell bar button if you like the driving around video. Why wouldn't you? At Wendy's. Hey? Freaking right. Nothing like some good old Wendy's. Mama and Mel are at McDonald's and I can't do McDonald's, boys. Excuse me, the shit's big time. Hmm? Freaking right, it does. Careful. Well, here it comes, boys. There's no need for them to be that loud, there ain't. I like a nice quiet muffler, I do, so I can hear what I'm really going on. Hello! Hello! How are you? Little tappy tappy. Nothing like a good tappy tappy. Why wouldn't we? Thank you! See ya! You too! Slide a little card action, boys. I haven't slid out cards in a long freaking time. I gotta start hitting the cards, I do. Get them subscribers up there, boys and girls, peoples. I'm gonna have to get a Tim Hortons coffee too, because they're gonna be closing soon. Freaking right, they will be. Anybody wanna go for a drive before I go home? Okay. Jeez. Oh, I sure went straight. Careful. Holy, those fries are dry. Wow. Let's see. Oh, hold on, LS. She's breaking loose, boys. Frig, I got something with a little bit more power than the old sport track to do, eh? Little LS action, boys. Jeez. Heater works in this thing, I'll tell you. Nothing like some LS, please. Girls, meatballs. Should slap some twin turbo to her, eh? A little twin turbo action. Ooh, okay. Ooh. I should probably plug you in. I'm gonna have to order up some new batteries, the old GoPro in there. Those batteries don't last at all anymore. For sakes. Why would they? I'll tell you what, boys, girls, peoples. I can't be any happier with this truck for the price I paid. It drives nice and smooth. She runs good. I was gonna wash at work this morning. No go on El Washo because now it's raining. So I'm glad I didn't friggin' wash it. That would have sucked. Another thing I did today too, boys and girls, peoples, is I put a tinted band on the window, eh? It wasn't dark enough. Check out that tinted band. That's friggin' decent, eh? I was gonna video record myself doing a tint job, but I figured out ah, what the hell. Forget about it. I bet you mount to the dash now I do, right? You're on the dash for a change now the windshield. Hopefully she's not jerking. Boys! Hey, let me know in the comments below if the old uh, Silverado is quieter than the old sport track. Maybe I won't have to do as much uh, background noise reduction. So the rear defroster wasn't working on this Chevy. So I checked the fuse and the fuse is under the hood for the rear defrost on the Chevy Silverados, eh? So I popped off the lid on that and uh, the fuse was good. So I'm like, what the hell's going on? But I noticed it was really dirty under there. So I said, oh, I'm gonna clean it up. So I sprayed her with a little WD and wiped her down around all the fuses. Then I sprayed it with some contact cleaner and then I checked the fuse again and no go. So I pulled the fuse right out because I checked it with a test light, right? And the fuse looked good, but it's starting to get corroded down near the bottom of it. So I changed the fuse and Bob's your uncle. She worked, boys. So if you own yourself a Chevy Silverado, make sure you look at that fuse box. Make sure the lid's on right. Make sure you keep it clean and spray it with some contact cleaner and stuff because I can see that being a wiring issue down the road, boys. If you have a Chevy Silverado, clean her up, boys, under the hood because you don't want wiring issues. That would suck. Ass. It would. Just a little bill some tip of the day, eh? If you're a Ford guy, you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff, eh? If you're a Dodge guy, well, you just replace that once every five years anyways. How you doing? Oh, I gotta fix that rattle. That's gonna drive me nuts. That's a new one, boys. Hello. I can tell you one thing, the truck drives smoother than the work van because the work van, that stupid dash cam goes beep beep every freaking time you hit a bump. So obviously this thing runs a little smoother than the old Van Aruski at work. Because that was the first D beat. Hey. Down at the old Bridge Aruski here and she looks pretty decent, she does, eh? Hey? Manual recording will now start. Freaking right it will. I figured I'd give you a quick uh, dash cam view of the old Bridge Aruski, boys. Nothing going on though. She's there in deck, she is. Don't go on the old man hey? Okay? Can't miss his truck, big bright red color adage. Well, boys, that's about it. That's about all I did today. Happy New Year, eh? 2019 tomorrow. Holy, that come along fast, didn't it? But anyways, I'm going to head home now. I'm going to go to Stevie's tonight for a little 
New Year's Eve bash. Hey, supposed to meet up with Gatlin there. Gatlin's from Carphonics there. He's bringing me an adapter plate and a harness for the old radio so we can put the radio in tomorrow, boys. Hey, maybe we'll do that for a video. Put the stereo in the old silver radio tomorrow. What do you think? Good idea? I think so. All right, I do. Don't forget to get over there and check out old Gatlin channel there. I'll put it in the link below or description or somewhere, boys. Just look for it. Eh? You'll find her. Friggin' right, you will. So anyways, don't do anything I wouldn't do and uh, you know what to do for now.